And here it is, the first of two different tests that we've been doing. This is over a year in the making, ceramic glass coatings and sealants. I know you guys are excited and you guys have been bugging me in the comments for a long time about this test. The first part will consist of testing the longevity of the hydrophobic properties of each of these products exposed to the same environment and washed once a week until we have a final three or four. We're calling this our 28 way glass coatings test with 27 products plus a control. First and foremost, I got on eBay and I found a 1990 Jeep Wrangler windshield assembly in New York State. I had decided on this setup because it has a wiper transmission and assembly included as part of it, so I could run it on my own rig all as one unit and power it. We're going to use that for the second part of the test that you'll see here that should go live around December 2021 due to the insane amount of time that it takes to prep, install, let cure, and then finally test each one of these 27 products on this windshield setup. Some take in excess of four days to fully cure before you can actually wash them or test them, uh, but most are 12 to 24 hours. So it's it's gonna take me a day or two or three to test one product, for example, because I can only test one at a time on this windshield without, I don't want any other uh, contamination or anything like that from another product. So it's just one product per on the glass at a time, new windshield wipers, I polish it in between and so on. Uh, I went to my local glass company here in Tyler, Texas called Moose Auto Glass and they ordered three brand new laminated glass windshields for this frame, two of which will be used for this test. The reason for the expense in using all new windscreens here is that it's to give these products the absolute best possible scenario for longevity. And you guys in the com comments can't at me for saying something like, well, maybe it wasn't prepped properly, or maybe it had a lot of road grime in that spot that you didn't completely remove. Zero excuses. New, never used glass that I will further be polishing with a rayon pad and CarPro Ser glass, as I said earlier and then I'll be wiping it with a 35% isopropyl alcohol mix prior to installing any of these products. So it is a perfectly prepped, ready to go surface. This video is strictly the product information, the install, and my experience with the installation process. The actual first wash and rinse will go live October 1st of 2021. So we that gives us, today is September the 19th of 2021. So you have 12 days, or I'm sorry, you have 11 days of fully curing inside our climate controlled shop until it's ready to go. The longest is four days. We're giving it 11. So you're going to have plenty of time. Again, best possible scenario for all of these products. And full transparency, as I have nothing to hide, in our shop, we gen generally don't install glass coatings unless the client requests it. Those that we've installed, they just don't seem to last. Most of our clients have exotic vehicles. Probably 90 plus percent of our clientele is exotics, you know, Ferraris, Spikers, Lam Lamborghinis, Porsches, and so on. So these, these spend their lives in a great garage and these glass coatings still only seem to last a few months at best. We primarily install Aquapel in our shop for these vehicles with an occasional IGL window coating, you know, maybe three or four of those a year. But the reason for Aquapel is it's been around something like 30 years and it's relatively inexpensive. We install them on client vehicles as a convenience at no additional cost for them with the expectation that it won't last more than a few months and it hasn't been an issue doing that the last five or six years. Before we get to the install, I'm going to now show you the prep. And that basically, as you heard me discuss earlier, consists of using a an old 25 plus year old Harbor Freight rotary polisher that is about to die and a CarPro rayon pad with a interface pad, which is a foam pad that goes between the backing plate and the actual rayon pad using CarPro Glass and a soap and water solution to keep the surface wet. Not gonna do any severe polishing here, it's just to prep the surface, make sure there's nothing on it, and then we're gonna wipe it with a 35% and 65% distilled water, 35% isopropyl alcohol and water mix. Then we're gonna proceed with the install. First up, we have Griot's glass sealant. Six cents per milliliter. Apply it, let it haze, don't remove it. Apply a second coat, let it haze. And a lot of you asked for this one. This is the Meguiar's glass sealant. 13 cents per milliliter. Apply it, wait five to 10 minutes, remove it, 
using a damp microfiber. Wait one hour between coats, repeat and remove with a damp microfiber. Rain-X, the original, four cents per milliliter, pretty simple product. Apply it, let it haze, remove it. Been around a long time. Speaking of products that have been around a long time, Aquapel, I paid $30 for 10 kits on Amazon, so $3 a piece. Apply and immediately remove it, and emphasis on immediately remove. It can be very tricky if you don't remove it right away. Adam's glass sealant, 12 cents per milliliter. Apply it, wait one to two minutes, remove it. Very simple. and Adam's glass boost, six cents per milliliter. Apply it, wipe it off, that's it. It's really intended not as a standalone product, it's more as a booster for their other products. However, we're gonna test it by itself to see. Adam's two-part glass coating this is $10 per kit, so quite expensive when you look at it from a application standpoint. Apply it, don't remove it, then apply part B and that's it. Armorall ceramic glass. This is something you guys ask for, so I'm including it. Very inexpensive, the most inexpensive in the test. $5 for the product, one cent per milliliter. Apply it, buff it on, wipe it off. Liquid glass guard from Germany. It is $20 for two kits, so $10 per kit. Apply number one, let it dry for a minute, remove it. Apply number two, let it dry for 10 to 30 minutes based on the temperature. We're gonna wait 20 minutes and you remove it.
Next up is Nexet Glass Verziegelung, which is $29.95 or 15 cents per milliliter. Apply it, let it dry, remove it with a damp towel. That's it. Pearl Nano Glass Coating. This is the most expensive product in the test, $89.95, but it is not the most expensive cost per milliliter. So this is $1.80 per milliliter. Apply it. I can't find anywhere where it says to remove it. So we're just gonna leave it that way. We're not gonna level it. And I kind of see why it sort of just disappears. Gion Q2, $2 per milliliter. Apply it, wait a few minutes is all it says, and then remove. Rustoleum Never Wet, also known as Rustoleum Rain Repellent, six cents per milliliter. It costs twenty dollars. Apply it. Wait five minutes. Remove it. to our second windshield. Gonna go ahead and prep it the same way using the CarPro Rayon pad, the interface pad, and CarPro Glass. Just a quick polish, remove everything. Had some wax pencil on the very end there from the manufacturer of the glass. So now let's get onto it. Shatter X. $34.99 or $17.50 a kit. Apply number one, wait 10 minutes, remove it. Apply number two, wait 30 to 60 minutes. If it's warmer, less time. So we're gonna do 30 minutes and remove it. This is the only product in the test that is advertised as scratch and impact resistant. So we are going to test that later, but not in this part of the test. When we do the washer and uh, washer fluid and wiper test, we're gonna test it there. System X, it is a professional only glass coating, $20 for 10 mil, so $2 per milliliter. Apply it, wait 30 to 60 seconds and remove it. Very simple product to use. Glosset window and glass coating ties with the most expensive product in the test, but not the most expensive per milliliter. Apply it, wait three to five minutes and remove it.
Ceramic Pro. This is a professional only glass coating, nearly one of the most expensive, $89 for the product, but only $1.78 per milliliter. Apply first coat, let it flash, remove it, wait an hour, apply the second coat, let it flash and remove it. Drexler's glass coat. This is $1.35 per milliliter. You apply it, wait two and a half, two to five minutes, wipe it, and that's it. Uh, on some of the instructions that I read on the manufacturer's website, it said not to level it. So in this instance, I didn't level it, and it really doesn't need it. It dissolves on its own. So it really didn't need to be wiped anyway. NGNT glass. It's not yet available on the US market. It's from Switzerland exceptionally clear and concise directions. I commend them for that. But it's, you apply it, you apply the cleaner, wipe it, you apply the sealant, wait 15 minutes, remove it, and it's immediately ready to go and be washed, exposed to the rain, etc. Carbon Collective, I believe this is from the UK, 1995 or 16, 67 cents per milliliter. Apply it, let it sit for one to two minutes. Some instructions say a few minutes. I interpreted that as three. Remove it, wait an hour, apply it again, let it sit for one to two minutes and remove it. IGL window, $72.99 or $1.22 per milliliter. You have, it's a two part coating. You have to mix E1 and E2 in equal parts, and then you have to shake it for three minutes, which seems a little bit excessive to me. Then you apply it, you let it sit for an hour, and then you wipe it. My experience is when you wipe it at an hour, it's still pretty grabby. You have to use a pretty significant amount of pressure to remove it. And regardless, I still shook it for the full three minutes and applied it as instructed. DPC TS2 coating, that's a Dallas paint correction, $49.95, $1 per milliliter. Apply the first coat, wait five minutes, remove it. Wait 20 minutes before you apply the second coat, then apply the second coat, wait five minutes, remove it, and you have to wait four days before washing it. So most of them say immediately or 12 or 24 hours, this is four days.
Nanocotex Hydroglass. $29.99 or 50 cents per milliliter. Apply it, wait one minute, wipe it off. Very simple, quick to use. Transparency. This is a professional only windshield coating. $12 for a kit. Apply the cleaner, wipe it off. Apply step A, wait two to one to two minutes, don't wipe it off. Apply step B, wait one to two minutes and wipe off with wipe off with a damp microfiber towel, then wipe off with a dry towel. Pro Flyby 30, $25.94 is what I paid, $1.30 per milliliter. Apply it, wait one to three minutes based on the humidity and remove it. Nano Kotex K2. This is, they didn't have the final labels ready when they sent the product to me here. $55, 50 cents per milliliter. You apply it, let it sit for about a minute, remove it. G Technic G1 G2 by far more than twice as expensive as the next expensive product cost per milliliter $4.40 it's a very complex install apply G1 for your first coat wait five minutes don't remove it apply the second coat wait five minutes don't remove it apply the third coat wait 15 minutes and then you have to remove it with the g2 residue remover because it's very sticky very grabby to remove if you look at my video here i think i only waited five minutes at the end i think i waited 15 minutes in between the second and third coat i'm not it, yeah that it looks like that's what i did i waited 15 minutes then i applied the third coat and then waited five minutes so i may have I hope, really hope I didn't screw something up there, but it definitely got lots of time to sit on it and nothing was removed between layers. So it should be okay. And it's still gonna have more than a week to cure. Removing the tape from the second windshield. So there is your final product. You can see the third windshield that we'll be using later for the wiper resistance and washer fluid resistance test but these are the two stands that we've made we're going to put them outside starting october 1st today is the 19th day of september and you can see in the right behind the vinyl what looks like streaks on the product it's not it's actually the vinyl you're looking at the back side of vinyl so not normally the side you side you see and had a stack of microfibers because we made sure we had no 
contamination on any of these. And if you look at cost, not including the kits, you can see how much more expensive G-Technic is than everything else. But there's the low end and sort of when you get into the ceramics, it gets more expensive. And the product cost, sub $20 range, and then you get up into the ceramics where it jumps up to 30, 50, all the way up to $90. I would, I would call that probably three different categories. You have a, a low cost, quick to use, you have the middle of the range that it's still a DIYer, and then you have the higher end stuff that isn't necessarily professional only, because the, of the top three there that are $90, Ceramic Pro is the only one that's a professional only product. So there we have it guys, stay tuned. These are going to sit in our shop for the next, well, let's see, today's the 19th of September. It's gonna sit in our shop for the next 11 days curing, and then we're gonna take it outside starting October 1st, and we will wash them once a week and they will stay outside. So we will, of course, do our first rinse on October 1st and first wash. From there, we'll see what holds up and what doesn't. I'm excited for this just as you guys are. So stay tuned, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, like this, comment down below. See you soon.